Welcome to the factory, this is Orgy42, moin! I created this mechanism in Scrap Mechanic that converts alternating rotation into one-way rotation. This wasn't my idea though, Makers Muse did a video about this mechanism years ago and I completely forgot about it, but one of my subscribers sent me a link so I needed to recreate this in Scrap Mechanic, of course. Thanks a lot for the reminder, by the way. Let's have a look at this thing. You can ignore the handle, by the way, it's for decorative purposes only. Watch the gear in the middle. It's always turning into the same direction. The other two gears as well. The outer gears are driven by two ratchets. Let's have a closer look. Let's go up the stairs here. The outer gears are driven by two ratchets. Um, they are on the same axis and they are alternating their direction from time to time and the secret of this machine is that the two ratchets are never both engaged at the same time. Only one of them is actually driving the mechanism while the other one is idling. You can see this right now, now it's idle and now it changes and it engages right there. Beautiful. This one's working like a charm. I won't show you how to build this thing, but I will show you the underlying mechanisms so you can build your own version. And before you ask, yes, you can use this mechanism together with the lift to create rotation and I will show you right now. But the machine that's able to do that is way too big for the factory, so let's go outside. Now we need our menu back and we want our lift. Our lift is going here, I already prepared it, but I will do it again so you guys can see. And you know we can push it up and down with the arrow keys in this case, and this is pushing a weight. The weight is engaged to this gear here, and you can see when we push it up it's turning into one direction, when we push it down it's turning into the other direction. But then, if we are connecting it to the mechanism I just showed you. We have this alternating rotation of the lift or created by the lift. The weight is going up, the weight is going down, but the gear in the middle here is always turning clockwise. Always. So we can maybe in the future abuse this mechanism to generate power if one day maybe the update is coming out. Um, yeah, we don't know when this is gonna happen. They released a small experimental update previously, but yeah, don't know when we will get the next chapter. Okay, I know this is a very overcomplicated machine, but this is just a proof of concept more or less. And it's not the most useful thing to have in Scrap Mechanic, but it's fun and I really like fun mechanisms. So if you wanna build your own, just stay tuned, I will show you the underlying mechanisms right now. Let's start with how to transfer energy along a shaft, although it's somehow blocked by things in the middle. In this case, these two wheels are connected to a wall here, but they are connected by a suspension. And suspensions don't have collision. So you can transfer rotation along an axis that way. So these two gears, they behave like they are one solid block, although they are not. They are two parts, there's a bearing here, there's a bearing here, but the suspension is connecting the two. So if we use the same principle, we can even have something in the middle that is not rotating, although it is on the same axis as the two wheels outside here. You can even go further and have this rotate in one direction and the thing rotating in the middle in another direction. And this is exactly what we are using here at our machine. Now they are rotating in the same direction, but now the ratchet is uh, rotating one way while the gear is rotating in another direction. And both of the ratchets are always turning 
the same. They are like one solid part and the handle as well. Now we want to have a look at the ratchet itself. This is the design I settled with and I'm really proud how good it works. So I'm having an engine here. I'm rotating this gear into one direction and pushing the suspension back. But in the moment I will change direction, it stops because it can't get past this wedge. It's blocking the way and it's really working pretty reliable. Sometimes it's skipping a tooth, but most of the times it's really reliable. And I'm very happy how well this works. And um, I haven't had this much success with ratchets in the past and I tried a lot of designs before I settled with this one. I want to show you a few uh, failed designs here. This ratchet for example, it's working this way like expected but yeah it, it's glitching out when I turn it the other way around and this one as well, I tried to keep it in the middle here, but uh, okay, now it's, now it's fine. And I'm, if I rotate it in this direction, it should move, that's all fine. If I rotate it the other way, it's, it's blocked, that's perfect. But if I were to, yeah, rotate faster, it's glitching out and that's not what we want and most of the times this was my experience with ratchets in scrap mechanic and yeah i'm very happy with this design i will go with it although it's not the most compact one i would be so happy if i had a design that would be small enough to put it inside the wheel in the middle like these designs here but i haven't found out how to do this yet so yeah, this machine is more a proof of concept. It's way too big to integrate it into any survival applications yet, but it's working. So, thanks for watching. If you want to do your own, I'm very curious what you build. This was Orgy42. Thanks for watching this video and staying tuned until the end. If you already liked and subscribed, Thank you, thanks a lot, and if you didn't, please consider doing so right now. And please leave a comment, I'm always happy to read all your suggestions and good ideas, they really keep me going here. See you next week, this was RD42, bye!